In this video, we're going to work through question 20 together. Is question 20 a complete question or a sentence completion question? It's a complete question. Take 10 seconds to read the question and decide what keyword you would isolate as the main focus of it. Hopefully you chose vulnerable patients. Now do the same with the four answer options. Take 30 seconds to read them and isolate the keywords in each one that makes it different to the other three. See if your ideas match mine. Option A, legislation not protect them. Option B, data not just responsibility of doctors. Option C, insufficiently informed open records may endanger. Option D, keeping information more at risk than including it. These options aren't that simple to reduce to keywords, but what I do notice is that three of the options, A, C and D, all mention lack of protection, being endangered or at greater risk, whereas option B focuses on who should be responsible for keeping data safe. It's quite different to the other three. Okay, now take 30 seconds to read through the paragraph to understand the overall meaning, keeping the information about the four options in your mind as you read. You might feel after reading the paragraph that you're not much clearer which of the answer options are closest to being correct. There's a lot of new information included in this paragraph. Let's take it sentence by sentence. Sentence 1 introduces the topic of the paragraph, challenges to the rollout of open records. Sentence 2 mentions clinicians are worried about vulnerable patients, an example of whom is given, those experiencing domestic violence. Sentence 3 states that clinicians can withhold information if they believe it might harm a patient or another person. Sentence 4, however, says that not all doctors and patients are likely to know this. Sentence 5 suggests healthcare organisations could help ensure the safety of vulnerable patients through training. And sex sentence 6 suggests health record vendors could design functions for enhanced privacy settings to give patients greater control over the information available. Take another 10 seconds to read the four answer options again. Can you now pick one that is a good match for what you've just read? Were you tempted to choose C? they are insufficiently informed about the way open records may endanger them. There is evidence for this on line 4. It's unlikely that all doctors and patients are aware of this exception. But if we look at the previous sentence for what the exception is, we can see it is withhold information that might harm an individual patient. This means what patients are unaware of is that harmful information can be withheld, which matches the first half of option C, they are insufficiently informed, but not the second half. Hopefully you chose option B. We can see that both healthcare organisations and electronic health record vendors are mentioned as being able to share responsibility for keeping data safe in lines 4 to 9. 
Option A isn't the correct answer because the writer doesn't mention whether the current legislation is robust enough or not, just what the regulations are. Option D isn't the correct answer because the writer doesn't suggest that keeping information increases the risk vulnerable patients are under. Option B matches the text.